Good evening, how are you? Hi, Jose. Hello, how are you doing? Everything nice? Yes. Well, let's begin. I'm going to share the screen. Good evening, everyone. Today is June the 20th, and this is class 13. Okay, class 13. Let's begin. The topic is personality traits two. Okay. In the agenda, in the agenda, we have personality traits, job profiles, closes with the cause. The objectives are to discuss personalities, to discuss job profiles, to give reasons. Okay. So, the last time we worked on these adjectives, but we were just identifying which ones were positive and which ones were negative. Uh, we're just going to go over the pronunciation, so please listen to them. Then we're going to put them into practice. Okay, listen. Bad temper, creative, critical, disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level-headed, moody, reliable, strict, friendly, shy, outgoing, talkative, lazy, selfish, greedy, nervous, serious, relaxed, respectful, faithful, loyal, garrulous, curious, sophisticated, kind, compassionate, imaginative, intelligent, trustworthy, optimistic, polite, proud, supportive, sincere, honest, honorable, considerate, flexible, organized, independent, articulate, caring, persistent, humorous, funny, clever, thoughtful, open-minded, energetic, determined, courteous, responsible, quiet, and positive. So this adjective we studied before. So my dear ladies and gentlemen, let's continue. We're going to be using these adjectives to describe these people. But for the moment, we're going to be practicing this diet. Okay. Listen to the model, then we're going to go to the groups for you to practice. Hey, Carl, where are you coming from? Oh, hi, Bill. I'm just coming from seeing my best friend off at the airport. She's flying to Rome tonight. This friend, what's this guy like? Why? She's no guy. My best friend is a girl. Girlfriend, huh? Hey, come on. You know I'm married. Sure. She's just a love affair. Come on. Tell me, what's she like? Is she cute? Is she an old hag? She's only a friend I met two weeks ago. She's very funny. She's really cute, too. She's an excellent professional. Does your wife know about it? Of course. Betsy is a good friend of ours. She's my wife's doctor. She's treating her gastritis. I hope it's just that. Remember, stay away from trouble. I will, thanks. Okay. And the question that we're going to discuss after the dialogue is, can a man's best friend be a woman? So we're going to practice the, the dialogue. Right now, let's go to the groups. 
Let's see how many people we have. Six people. So it means that we are only five. I'm going to make two groups. Let's see the options. Okay, I created the groups. The groups are opening. We are practicing page five. In my case, yeah. I build. Okay. Who will share? Okay, thank you. Okay. Begin. Hey, Carl, where are you coming from? Oh, hi, Bill. I'm just coming from seeing my best friend of the vehicle. She's flying to Rome tonight. Best friend, what this guy like? Guy, she's not guy. My best friend is a girl. Girlfriend, ah. Hey, come on, you know I'm married. Sure, she's just a love affair. Come, come on, tell me what she's like. It's good. Is she an old house? She's only a friend. I met two weeks ago. She's very funny. She's really cute too. She's an excellent professional. Does your wife know about it? Of course. Betsy is a good friend of ours. She's my wife's doctor. She's breaking her gastritis. I heard it. I just, I heard it is just that remember stay, stay away from trouble. I will, thanks. Teacher, what is the pronunciation? Trouble. 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 Stay away from trouble. Stay away okay. from trouble. Mm -hmm. Yes. Love a fire. Come Love affair. Love affair. Love affair. Love affair. Love affair. Okay. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. No problem. Months. Okay. And the um, pronunciation of the gastritis. Sorry, do you have another question? The pronunciation of the word gastritis? Gastritis. 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 Okay, gastritis. thank you. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. That's okay. Right. Okay. Now who will uh, practice. Best friend, what's this guy like? Mm, guy, uh, she's not guy. My best friend is a girl. Girlfriend, who? Hey, come on, you know, I am married. Sure, she's just a lot of fire. Come on, tell me what she like. Is she good? Is she an old, old how? She's only a friend. I met two weeks ago. She's very funny. She's really cute too. She is an excellent profession. 
Does your wife know about it? Of course, of course. Beth, Betsy is a good friend of ours. She's, she's my wife and doctor. She's treating her gastritis. I hope it is just that. Remember, stay away from trouble. I will, thanks. Y ahora? Eh, Mónica y Amanda. Uh -huh. Yo soy Bill entonces. Okay. Hey, Carl, where are you coming from? Oh, hi, Bill. I am just coming from saying my best friend of a diver. She's flying to Rome tonight. Best friend? What does this guy like? Goy. She's no guy. My best friend is a girl. Mm, girlfriend? Hmm. Hey, come on. You is not, you is not I'm, I'm married. Sure, she is just a love affair. Come on, tell me what she like. Is she cute? Is she an old hunk? She's only a friend I met two weeks ago. She's very funny. She's really cute. To she's an excellent professional. Does your wife know about it? Oh, of course. Bercy is a good friend of ours. She's my wife, doctor. She's third. Um. Can I be you? Gabriela? Diana? Kerry? Wendy? Good night, everyone. Hello. I can, I can practice. <laughs> yes, I listen. So, so who's next? Yes, next. Diana and Gabriela. Oh, okay. And who you want to be, Gabby? Mm, Bill. Okay. Okay. Uh, hey, Carla, where are you coming from? Oh, hi, Bill. I'm just coming from see my best friend of the airport. She's flying to Rome tonight. Best friend. Um, what is the what is guy like? Guy. Mm -hmm. No sé. Gastritis. Me imagino que gastritis se pronuncia. Gastritis. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Gastritis. 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 Yes. Gastritis. 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 Treating, así se pronuncia. Um, which one, my friend? Uh, Carl. Tratamiento. Treat, treating. Treating. Uh, treating. 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 She's, treating. She's treating her gastritis. Gastritis. She's treating her gastritis. Treating. Yes. <laughs> She's treating her gastritis. Yeah. Y, y Roma es Rom, Rom, o cómo se pronuncia? Rom, 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 
Yes. Okay. Excellent question. And, and Bill, stay away from trouble. Stay away from trouble. Uh -huh. Stay trouble. away from trouble. Stay away from trouble. And, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Ang or es on? Ang. Is she an old? Ah, is she an old hag? Okay. It's an old lady, respectively, like a witch. <laughs> an old witch. Uh, an old hag. For the man, it's geezer. An old geezer. Okay, so an old hag. A hag and a geezer. So some people, um, this bill, you see that it's very irreverent and uh, not very nice, right? He's thinking bad things. It's because some people cannot conceive the idea of a man having a woman as a friend. Okay, so. Okay, that's something that we're going to discuss in a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we are 12. Let's continue. <clears throat> okay, so some of the words. See someone off. See someone off. Is to say goodbye at the airport, accompany something before someone leaves. You can see someone off at a bus stop or you can see someone off at the door. Okay, now, guy. Say, say uh -huh. It's like saying goodbye, exactly. It's the same as saying goodbye, only that you accompany the person. So if the person mm. goes to the, uh, let's say airport, you go to the person, with the person to the airport. And uh, also if the person is going by bus, you go to the person, to the bus stop, or if you, uh, the person is coming by car, you go to the person's car or something like that. See the person off, see the person leave. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have a love affair. A love affair is when you translate amorio, right? Un amorio, a love affair. Cute. Is she cute? What's she like? Is she cute? Or is she an old hag? An old witch? Is she an old witch? Okay, so because some people think that when you grow old, you are not important anymore. So some people are respected. Now, why do I include this word here? So that if you hear it, you can identify what it is. It is not very respectful to treat a person, okay, as an old hag. An old hag is an old witch. It's like uh, as if they are never going to be old, right? We are always, okay, say like this, an old geezer. That is a man, an old geezer, and an old hag is a woman. So, Okay, then we have, uh, she's treating her gastritis. She's treating her gastritis. Stay away from trouble. I hope it is, I hope it is just that. I hope it is just that. Remember, stay away from trouble. And he says, Carl says, I will, thanks. 
but uh, this is dirty minded, right? Mal pensado. He's dirty minded. Dirty. I'm going to write. Disculpe, será posible que me regale un cubierto? Fíjese que no tengo y quiero ver si le puedo agarrar un tenedor y un cuchillo. So, dirty minded, the mente sucia, right? Dirty minded. Mal pensado, we say, dirty minded. Okay. So, now, my friends, we're going to go to the, uh, to the room, to the rooms to describe these people. We're going to describe these people as what? Okay, we have... <laughs> This is only uh, illustration. This is only for an illust as an illustration. <laughs> okay, my wife, my father, my sister, his friend, my boss, my cousin, my neighbor, <laughs> my neighbor. Okay, my niece. Okay, my neighbor. Good morning, neighbor. Brr. Okay, in dog. That is good morning. So, wow, okay, very good, good, a new language. So you're going to be working and you're going to be describing. You can say, my wife is very smart, is very thoughtful, creative, hardworking, organized, very neat. She's angry too, but she's, she compensates it with, uh, she is very thoughtful. She sees things in advance, okay? And she is hardworking, very organized, very neat, and she's very efficient, okay? So that would be a description. So you can describe uh, your wife if, or if your husband, in case you, uh, it's a lady, sorry, here I put only wife, but think about it. If it's if you are married, okay, and um, it's a man, so you say my husband, and you can describe him. My father, if you happen not to live with your father, or may, maybe you never met your father, it's not that you never had a father because we all had a father. We come from two people, not from from one. So if you never met your father, remember that you are important. It doesn't matter if your father is not with you, okay? You are important. He didn't leave you because you are not important. He left you because he was not ready for you. You were too special for him, okay? He was not prepared for you. He was afraid and he left. So then, but anyhow, if you don't have a father, it's like this, you don't live with your father, then maybe you describe your mom, okay? If you don't have a sister, you describe a brother. If you don't have a best friend, let's say, uh, you don't have a, a best friend that is a girl, but it's a boy, okay, describe the boy. Or if you don't have a niece, but you have a nephew, or if your neighbor is not like him, but it's like her, <laughs> okay? Or if your cousin is a boy, or your boss is a lady, <clears throat> remember that here, these are not necessarily the figures that you should follow. You see that there are more ladies, more ladies than boys because uh, we shouldn't discriminate, discriminate against ladies. Then there are more ladies and because in nature, we find that there are more women, okay? So now, so we're going to go to the groups and we're going to be using these adjectives to describe them, okay? So maybe you can, you want to take, uh, you want, well, you can go back, go back, think of, for example, I'm going to describe my father, you say. You say my father uh, is very punctual, he's very strict, but he's very friendly, respectful, optimistic, very independent and very determined He's uh, supportive, he's level-headed, generous, okay? And uh, sometimes he's bad-tempered, not moody, 
a bad temper, but usually for a reason, not without a reason. He's honest, honorable, and he's very funny too. He knows how to tell jokes. He repeats the same jokes many times, but okay, the jokes are funny. And he's my father and I love him. So that is just, you can describe uh, your father, your mother, etc. So you can uh, tell your partner who you're going to be describing and you can go back to this page and you may look at the adjectives and consider the adjectives that apply, okay? Let's, let's see. Okay, I'm going to create new groups because there are a lot more people now. Now we are 14, so it means that we are 13 in reality. I'm going to create four groups. Originally, well, we were before we were only three. Okay. Let's, see, let's create the groups. Four, three, three. Ah, exactly. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So then, if we want four in each group, yes, right. Maybe then only three. Only three groups. Okay. Let me see. Okay. As you wish, we're going to have four in each group. Here we go. The groups are opening. Please join and describe the people. Good, good evening, classmates. Good evening. Good evening. Um, Can anyone share the activity? It describes um, um, member of the your family. mother, your your sister, your oh, okay. Thank you, Amanda. Al menos tres dijo. Okay. Yo diría que nos tomemos el tiempo para hacerlo y de ahí luego comencemos a, a compartirlo. Y luego lo discutamos. Uh -huh. Ok. Respecto. Uh -huh. Respectful. Respectful. Only that. How old is your father? Uh, my father uh, so yeah. has so is no, pero en, en pasado es. Was. My father. Ah, uh, my father was. Um, 66 years no. old. Is he died? Yes. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. 
uh, I can describe to my sister. Uh, my sister is called Marina. She is um, uh, she lives in the United States, but we continue to talk. And she is a um, very punctual woman. She is organizing a lot. Is her working? She's garrulous. Sometimes is moody, <laughs> but she is a good person. Uh, sometimes there uh, is bad tempo came to it, but uh, she's a good person and we love us. <sighs> no one else wants to talk? He he is taking right now a course of that aircraft, that, and he is very very serious guy. He is a uh, very kind, and he is very very quiet, and uh, almost he didn't give me trolls. He he always. He is very, very, uh, I mean, uh, I don't know it's, how we say, but he's... Well behaved? He's, well behaved? Mm -hmm. Sorry? Is he well behaved? He behaves well? He's ah, well. yeah. He, 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 is, he behaves well, yeah. Okay. Her behavior is, is very... Well, okay. very good, yeah. And I, there is a, a word that I don't remember. It's a, uh, when uh, I, I don't remember, teacher. Can you help me to remember that? It's a- uh, Responsible? No, oh, it's a uh, level, level ahead, something like that. Level headed? Level headed, yeah. Level headed, uh -huh, level headed. What does that uh, word mean? Level headed in Spanish? Level headed means someone who is a, who has his feet on the ground. Oh, okay. Someone who, okay. who keeps a, a good view of life. Okay. He is not okay. pretentious. He is unpretentious. He is more realistic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, that's the, the the Keep word that I am searching uh -huh. for. Describe okay. my tongue. Keeps up like this. It's life. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's all. That's all for my song. <laughs> I don't know if another. Uh... Me. Okay. 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 I describe my father. Um, he is very cool. He is a great sense of humor. Uh, he is the most hardworking person I have seen. Uh, he takes life practically and teach me also. 
uh, many of our relatives and friends appreciate and bond between us. Many of them say I look like my dad, but I'm not sure I uh, really look like him. And my father, my father is very funny, honest, uh, friendly, and curious. He is very organized in all things. But this all. <laughs> Someone else? There's one missing, right? Because we are five in the group. So, Gabriela, Celia, me, and and the Okay, then we go back to the main groups. Okay, let's go to the main groups then. We're missing three people and then we continue. Okay. Um, I think that there is a lady in the chat uh, her name is Elizabeth. I think um, she always loses her link to the class. Maybe you can get, help her. Okay. Elizabeth, are you in? Could you enter? So if somebody could share the link with her, that would be nice. I think that she's asking uh, for someone to share the link to the class so that she may come in. Okay. <clears throat> now, my friends, we're 14, we're finished. So let's move on. Let's get to the next one. Perspective job profile. Okay, let's see. Uh, before we actually read this, because we're going to read it and we're going to practice, practice reading it and we're going to be discussing this exercise. What personality traits are necessary for the following jobs? To be an engineer, to be a doctor, to be a cashier, to be a bank teller, to be a TV uh, announcer, to be a nurse, to be a psychologist, to be an economist, to be a politician, to be a teacher, to be a secretary, to be a salesperson. So you're going to also uh, go back and look at the adjectives if you need, but do not, uh, do not go to make a list and do things because if not, 
time finishes and you don't practice. So go to the, to the activity and the, the adjectives that you understand, the adjectives that you know, put them into practice. And those are the ones that you're going to be using to describe the adjectives, okay? Right in the spot, in the moment. Because if you wait to write them and everything, time finishes, we have only one hour and we have some exercises. So if you are writing, takes you a long time, you don't, at the end, you don't practice, you only write the things. And what we want is that you speak more. So if you can do it, if you identify the adjectives, okay? Use those. If there are some adjectives that you don't know the meaning, you cannot identify them. Put them aside and use the ones, okay? So that would be much better. Now let's let's uh, begin here. Okay, I would like one volunteer to read the, the first. I can do it. Okay. Uh, I heard Ceci was speaking. Yes. Okay, Ceci reads the first, Miguelito reads uh, the second. Right on Miguelito, you can read the second. Okay, and, perfect. Sir. And, and the last one, who would like to do the last one? Eric, okay, thank you, Eric. So you, you can read the last one. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, well, I think I make a good journalist because I'm a good at writing. When I was in college, I worked as a reporter for the school newspaper. I really enjoyed, enjoyed writing different kinds of articles. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Um, only in past tense, you don't pronounce the E. Only say enjoyed. Enjoyed. Uh, enjoyed. Work okay. is a T. Work. Work. I worked as a reporter at the school newspaper and I really enjoyed the, uh -huh, without the, mm -hmm. okay, excellent, very good. Thank you, Ceci. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, Don Miguelito, please go and read the next one. I know what I don't want to do. A lot of my friends work in the stock market, but I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. I don't mind working hard, but I am terrible under pressure. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. And Eric, the last one. I'm still in school. My parents want me to be a teacher, but I'm not sure yet. I guess I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I'm also very impatient so maybe I shouldn't work with kids. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So creative, 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 impatient, impatient, right? Creative, impatient. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, we're going to be reading this uh, in the groups, but we're going to go to the next one. Do this one. What characteristics are necessary to do these jobs? Level headed, very smart, serious, honest, uh, competent, etc. So think about what elements, efficient and well, what elements are necessary to do these jobs? Let's go to the group so that you make practice. Okay, let's go. The groups are opening, so let's read and practice. So Monica is in group three. Okay. 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 Mm. 
No sé si alguien puede compartir la pantalla, por favor. Creo que, puedo, que según yo es, está en, no sé si estoy confundida hoy. Dale. No, no, no era esto, perdón. Creo que era esta, ¿verdad? No la veo. Yes. ¿Algún, vol ¿Algún voluntario para que lea primero? Me. <laughs> well, I okay. think I made a good journalist because I could uh, act writing. When I was in college, I got a reporter for the school newspaper. I really enjoyed writing different kind of art articulate. Okay. Articles. 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 Okay. Thank you. Next. I know. I can read it. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. No, no, okay. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's okay. Okay. I know what I don't want to do. A lot of my friend work in a stock market, but I could never be a stock broker because I can make decision quickly. I don't mean working hard, but I'm terrible under pressure. Pressure, 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 pressure. Okay. It's okay. I still in school. My fa my parents want what mean to be a teacher, but I'm not sure yet. I guess I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. Mm -hmm. I'm also very impatient, so maybe I should work with kind. Student work with kids. Kids. Work with kids. Uh -huh. Kids. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. <clears throat> Next. I can read it. Okay. Well, I think I will make a good journalist because I am good at writing. When I was in college, I worked as a reporter of, for the school paper, for the school newspaper. I really enjoyed it, writing different kind of articles. I know what I don't want to do. A lot of my friends work in the stock market, but I could never be a stock broker because I can't make decisions quickly. I don't mind working hard, but I'm terrible under pressure. I'm still in school. My parents want me to be a teacher, but I'm not sure yet. I guess I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I'm also very impatient. So maybe I shouldn't work with kids. I will read. Well, I think I would make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. When I was in college, I worked as a reporter for the school newspaper. I really enjoy writing different kinds of articles. Next. <laughs> no Next. <problem. laughs> Bye. I know what I don't want to do. A lot of, of my friends work in the stock on the stock market, but I could never be a stock broker because I can make decisions quickly. I don't mind working hard, but I terrible under, under pressure. <laughs> Eso aplica para mí. I'm still in school. My parents want to be a teacher, but I'm not sure yet. I guess I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. 
I also very impatient. Mm -hmm. So maybe I shouldn't work with kids. Okay. I am the next. Um, well, I I think it make a good journalist because I am I am good at writing. When I was in, in college, I worked as reporter for the school newspaper. I really enjoyed it, writing different kinds of articles. Okay, I know I know what I don't want to do. A lot of my friends work in the stock market, but I call. Talk to Miles, what another profession? Um, teacher. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Profession. <laughs> Must be organized and talkative. Create, create, creative. Responsible. Responsible, yes. Creative. Friendly. Yeah. It's the same. In the street. What do you think about a teacher be a street? Ah, uh, strict, yes. Yes, he must be strict. He or she. He or she. About both. And a secretary. 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 A secretary must be organized. Street. Uh -huh. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking. We're looking. <laughs> Friendly. <laughs> yes. Flexible. And um, yes. She wants to be good writing. Siete el seguro social, Moody. It must be trustworthy. Trustworthy. Uh, what's the meaning of reliable? Reliable. 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 Reliable means dependable. Uh, reliable. 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 Reliable means that if you need her, she's there. If uh, you need her, she's there. Uh -huh. Like I conditional. Uh, could be, could be like in conditional. Normally, uh, reliable means that you can count on her. You uh, depend on her. Confiable. Yes, like your car. If your car never breaks down, your car is reliable. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, we have not the the page. No. Page. 
the last page we have. Page eight. The last page is page eight. If page, okay. you are working on seven and eight. No, but we have. Uh, I don't receive the the class the today class. Don't didn't receive today's class. No. No. I'm going to send it right now. Okay, for you to have. Okay. Let's see. Let me see. I think that I can send it to you. Well, send it to the group so that you may. Yes. No. Uh -huh. I'll send it. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Now. Oh, yes. Yes. Now it's there. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now, yes. now it's there. Just in case. So, so that is, you can have it. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, we have um, psychologists. No se de nuevo. Have you finished the next page? Des Not teacher. Describing uh, the job? No teacher. Okay. Let's do the next one. Aha, uh -huh. you are using uh, the, the, the other version, so you don't have the next page. Okay, the next page is, well, page eight. It's in the new version. Okay. It's in the WhatsApp group. Sorry that I just sent it, but I thought that I had already sent it because it is, I made it last Friday, so I didn't know that. Okay. Okay. This one. Mm -hmm. Is describe a uh, what job? Anything? You choose the you choose the job that you want to describe. Okay. Okay.
uh, for example, uh, three people out, there will be, the other people will be out in a moment. Five people. Well, I need to go. So I'm going to stop sharing. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending tonight. We stop here, we're going to continue tomorrow. Okay, God bless you all. Have a beautiful evening and see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, see you thank tomorrow. You. Good night, evening. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.